Hey, what's going on? It's Spider, and today I want to show you one of my favorite farming spots for trophies. Um, it's right here at the main terminal, uh, here in Old Villador. Main terminal station, fast travel point inside. Um, so first thing we'll do is uh, make it nighttime. If you can't get through this door, it's okay. You can climb up right through this barbed wire. It doesn't even hurt you. Yeah, there's a bed down in here, so I'm gonna go down there and sleep, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back out here. It's nighttime. Just gonna go back over the wall here. As you see, there will be a few howlers out here. They always spawn in the same spots. And uh, right here, there's a UV light, but it's actually not rendered in. But you can see my character is getting UV light right here, and I can actually bring one of the zombies over here. And show you that they do get burned and they can't go inside the UV light. So you do have a little safe spot right here. See? This one will start to burn in it. And they can't attack me here. I mean, they can swipe at you, but they start to burn like that. So this is a good place to hide from uh, the virals during a chase. So the main thing you want to do is come over here. You want these howlers to start a chase. I like to stand right by this uh, spike right here. They'll mainly spawn right in front of you. You will have the as long as you from the sides. Just get rid of those guys. Let's get plenty of them. And if you get too many of them like this, Back up under the UV light. Just stand back. It will end the chase if it takes you in there too long. But yeah, that's pretty much the whole method. You can come back over here and start it right back up with the howler if you want. Usually I like to get up to about level 1 or 2. Uh, the Volatile is trying to with it. You can just keep farming these guys, go in the UV light, restart it. Uh, but there is one more trick. Um, that comes when it's about 6.30 uh, in the morning game. That's kind of cool. None of the uh, enemies attack you, but you can just keep farming the loot. So I'll go ahead and cut to that uh, once we get to 6.30. Hey, real quick, before we get to 6.30, I wanted to show you one of the halls um, from this little farming spot. Just kind of go right here. They all turn into bags eventually. If you get too many of them over here, but tons of trophies, rares, and uncommons, which are the ones you need a ton of for some of the higher level blueprints. You'll get some uniques every now and then. Uh, you get tons of money and other valuables you can sell as well. So yeah, just tons of useful stuff that you're going to need throughout the game. Alright, yeah. Pretty good haul. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do, keep doing it again until we get to uh, 6.30, and I'll see y'all then. Alright, so it's about 6.30 here. I'm going to go ahead and start a chase. Over like normal. I'm trying to chase two. If not, it's fine. You can start.
starts to slow. Chase two. I just need to run and hit the zombies to trigger. I'm just gonna go over here in the middle of the street. And they should be catching on fire and start running away. You can grab and hook them off of these things. And it'll count as kills for you. <laughs> So we're spread of the more that there is. Just depending on how lucky you get with the spawns. Just like that, I mean, you just start stacking up some bodies. It's kind of funny. Not as good as the regular method, but you know. And this will happen all the way till 8 o'clock. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just like that. Sometimes, um,. Chase 2 or Chase 3 is good for that uh, method if you want to do it. It's kind of funny. It's not as practical as the uh, original method, but it's, it's just funny because they don't even try to attack you. But yeah, that's the whole video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you have any questions, just leave me a comment down below. And thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace.